So here's my latest pedal, the TC Electronic Alter Ego, which is a flashback pedal with fancy clothing. It's got some really cool features. Biggest issue I'm having is that writing is really hard to read. Let's move. Okay. From the wrong angle, stuff just disappears. There, it looks pretty good. Wait, where'd it go? Oh, there it is. So, let's uh, try a few sounds with this thing. Okay, so here's the guitar without any echo. So here we are with just a basic setup. At 12 o'clock everything except for this dial. this particular unit because well it was on sale and it has a tap function so you hold that down till the light goes out and then you strum the tempo you want faster. Yes, you can use this little knob. It gets from so short that you can't really hear it to a little longer. Then it gets really, really, really long. It's like seven seconds. It's coming. It's in there somewhere. There it is. Anyways, yeah, it gets ridiculously long. So you have the regeneration, which is how many decays you get. Two. Okay, there's also the mix, so... Basically, kind of loud. So depending on how much you want it mixed in. There's another knob here that has all the voices, and we'll go through that in a minute. There is, right in the middle, 
a button that switches from eighth notes to dotted, sorry, from quarter notes to dotted eighths. So you can hear it's faster. And then if you want to get really complicated, it's eighths and quarter notes. So back to quarter notes. So the basic sound is is their original digital delay. Is also analog delay. It's a little bit different sound. I kind of like it. But of course you can get into very long times, which you couldn't with the original analog delays. And there's a whole bunch of models. Most of them have some kind of modulation. Some pretty cool ones in there. So usually it's echo plus some kind of chorus or flanger to give you the old tape echo dis um, decaying sound and such. There is a slap back which I find works best with the dotted eighth notes. I like to, to pull that back just a bit. That's Also, a pretty funky, let's get into kind of longer times, quarter notes. It's a reverse. kind of cool and then you can load in your own or other people's presets it's called tone print you can use your iPhone or Android phone or you can hook it up to your computer and edit directly there's tons of presets and you can even do that on stage you, you play the sound into your guitar pickup well, you play digitally. It sounds like an old modem. That, that crazy sound from old modems. It's kind of funky. One last thing with this is that there's a looper on here. You want to get up to speed.
record up to 40 seconds of sound in mono or 20 seconds in stereo. Uh, that's kind of cool. Overall, for the sale price that I got it for, even even the uh, full price that was $180 Canadian, that's a pretty capable unit. The sounds are quite good. Um, is there better sounds out there? Yeah, but I don't think so. I think you can get the tap feature, the looper, and very decent sounds for under $200 like this unit. So I'd highly recommend it. There you go. It's uh